I remember at the time it was such a it was such a shock. I couldn't believe it really. I know my dad phoned me, and it was about five in the morning, and he said to put on the television and they said there'd been this awful accident and first of all they said that she was in hospital they didn't say she was dead and then when it was announced she was dead it was just like complete shock um, you know it's awful awful I, I wonder what she would be doing today if she was alive now I often wonder and um, so it was my mum who was actually helping on the embroidery Vogue magazine, they called us up one day and they said they're doing a shoot on somebody very, very famous and they couldn't say who it was. Did we have a high neck romantic style blouse or dress or something? So we did happen to have one hanging there. This blouse we just made, pale pink in chiffon and we sent that round and they're very, they were very close to us, just, you know, like a few hundred yards away. And uh, then we discovered it was for Princess Diana for the Lord Snowden shoot. and. She fell in love with it and asked who designed it. And from that point, she came in. She called us up, I remember. And I picked up the phone and I got her name wrong. And I didn't realise it was Diana. And uh, so when she turned up, it was another shock because by then she was everywhere in the press. So it, but it was wonderful because it was very formative. You know, uh, at the beginning, we would dress her, we would suggest things for her. And then as time went by, she developed her own style. She knew what suited her, and she had very specific likes and dislikes. And um, But we were there right in the beginning. And I, I like to think we played a big part in that, you know, to, to help her with her love of fashion. We were very lucky to have met her at that time. So she was very new to fashion. It wasn't her, her big thing at the time. And uh, she came, I remember when we first met her and she was just wearing like a little sweater and skirt and I think a string of pearls. And she looked like, when you look at the pictures of her in those days, you know, when she was a nursery school teacher, she just looked like a typical Knightsbridge girl, you know. Uh, and then she came in and she was, it struck me she was so young, I and mean, we were quite young at the time as well, but she was so young and just so sweet and shy, and um, it, it was really fun. It was a big adventure for her, suddenly to see all the clothes in the showroom, and um, she put a lot of trust in us, really, to come up with, with clothes that would suit her. And, and for us, I mean, wow, it was just so fabulous to meet her. Oh, I think that people would be really interested in yeah. But especially this one. Yeah, that's my dad's, that's my mom. Morning, Mom. <laughs> What's your 